Watson and Bored. Bored, Holmes? Yes, Watson. I'm bored of having no cases to solve. Well, Holmes, uh, shall we play a game? Yes. What a spiffing idea, Watson. Let's play a game of I Spy. Shall I start, Holmes? Yes. I spy with my little eye something beginning with... Something beginning with B. Okay. Something beginning with B. Hmm. Let me think. I know. Book. Astonishing, Holmes. How do you do it? Go on, it's your turn now. Okay, Watson, it's my go. I spy with my little eye something beginning with C. Ah, oh, now that's very easy, Holmes. Chair. Sorry, Watson, not so easy. Ah! Oh. Carpet. Not carpet. Try again. Clock. No, no, no. Do you give in? <sighs> right, I, I give in, Holmes. The answer, of course, is tickets. Tickets, Holmes? But surely tickets doesn't begin with a C. Complimentary tickets, my dear Watson. Oh, Holmes, I've had enough of this. I'm going to my surgery. Read all about it! Read all about it! Vampire Strikes Again! Read all about it! Read all about it! Vampire Strikes Again! I'll have one of those, boy. Here's a bright, shiny farthing for it. Wow! Thanks, Dr. Watson. That's food for six months. I word, this is sensational news. Can't wait to tell Holmes. <laughs> Read all about it. Read all about it. Vampire strikes again. seen this evening's newspaper? No, Watson, and that shouldn't surprise you, as you have the newspaper there in your hand. So I have, Holmes. You are so observant. Have you seen the headlines? Vampire strikes again. Take my violin, Watson. Let me have a look at those headlines. Good grief! Vampire strikes again! Has that man no moral? He strikes again, we'll be out of a job! I never thought of it like that. Holmes, that blighter needs to be brought to justice. It says all the victims had strange puncture marks on their necks. Do you know what that means? They were riding bicycles. No, you fool. It means that the victims have strange puncture marks on their necks. That's very interesting. Let me tell you what happened in my surgery. How do you feel, my dear? Oh, I'm, I'm fine. Now, Watson, what 
did you deduce from those ladies in the surgery this morning? Well, Holmes, that they were all ill. You should have deduced that they are in grave danger. Danger, Holmes? What a remarkable deduction. Danger from what? Not from what, but from whom. Remarkable, Holmes. The whom you talk about is Matthew Green, a much admired man in this area. Quick, there's no time to lose. You rang, sir? Yes, to lose. Could you tell me where Mr. Matthew Green lives? I certainly can, Mr. Holmes. He lives in Numbernum. And I should know, because I was out with him last night. You were out with him last night? How do you feel? Well, I feel all. Oh! Good grief, she's dead. Look at the marks on her neck. Good grief. What does it mean? It means I'll have to do my own ironing in future. Drat! The vampires claimed another victim. Watson, call me a handsome cow. Are you sure, Holmes? Yes, do as I say. Okay, Holmes. You're a handsome cow. I never thought you cared, Watson. But first, we must find Matthew Green. We'll need to take a cricket ball, a lunchbox, and a steak marinated in garlic. Why, Holmes? Because a man has to eat. And cricket is a man's game. You think of everything, Holmes. Read all about it, read all about it, vampire strikes again. Read all about it, Mr. Holmes, more vampire deaths. More vampire deaths? Can you read, boy? No, sir. Then how do you know there's more vampire deaths? You only have to walk down this street, sir. Wow. He's a clever boy, Holmes. He certainly is, Watson. Now, here's a bright new shiny farthing for your troubles. Thank you, sirs. Follow me. Walk this way. Quick, Dr. Watson! Over here! It's too late, Holmes. She's dead. Oh, no, I'm not. Young girl! Who's done this terrible thing to you? What? The bite on my neck? No! The horrendous haircut! Uh. It's no use, Holmes. She's dead. Do you know what this means, boy? We won't be able to find out who killed her. No! We won't be able to find out who gave her that horrendous haircut! What are we going to do? I could help you here, sirs. You could? For the price of a penny farthing. Don't you mean a shiny farthing? No, a penny farthing. It will help me on my paper round. Oh. Give the boy one, Watson, after you've obtained the information. Well, most of the ladies around these parts, they get their hair cut at Rachel Smith's. Ah, right! Come on, Watson, give the boy one as promised. <laughs> ah! You! <sighs> I say, Holmes, what are we doing here? Oh, Watson, isn't it obvious? It's a hairdressing salon. Rachel's hairdressing salon. We're going to have our hair cut, and you need one badly. Right, gents, what can I do for you? A perm, a set, or a bow? Uh, uh, Dr. Watson and I are looking for something more substantial than that, Rachel. If only you'd said in the first place, 
I do a nice line in body waxing and massage, if you know what I mean, gents. Oh, we know what you mean, Rachel. I work 24 hours a day and do a home service if you like. Now listen to me, Rachel. You are in grave danger from a man who has desires. Whatever your desires, Mr. Holmes. Believe in me, I can accommodate. I'm sure you can, Rachel. But please, tell me, who is this young man in the picture? You mean Matthew, our model? There's not a hair on his head or on his body that my fingers haven't run through. Show me your neck. Oh, Dr. Watson, I thought you were the quiet one. As I thought, Dr. Watson, he's had his wicked way with her. Oh, no, he's not. I don't do that sort of thing on the first date. Uh, how do you feel at the moment? I feel... She's dead, Holmes. I'm not. I've got something to tell you before I die. Yes, Rachel. We're listening. Something for the weekend, gents. What does she mean? It's a cryptic clue, Watson. It means someone needs protection this weekend. Quick, follow me. Strikes back. Do you mean the vampire's biting girls in the back now? Anything's possible. It is imperative that we find Matthew Green immediately before he bites backs, fronts, sides, and middles. I could help you, this is. You mean you know the whereabouts of Mr. Green? Yes, but it will cost you a bright new shiny farthing. Hmm. Give him one, Watson. No, not that again. I last saw him visiting somebody called Ellie Stone. Ellie Stone from Burnby? Yes, that's... Come on, Watson, to Burnby. The South American vampire spends 90% of its life hanging upside down. Watson, before we meet this young lady, we want to see what a vampire sees in young ladies like these. What do you mean, Holmes? Bat viewing glasses to see what the vampire sees. Yes, gents, is there anything I can do for you? my childhood sweetheart. My, my, how you've grown! Sherlock, it's you underneath those ridiculous glasses. Oh, oh Ellie, it's been so long since we... <coughs> oh, may I introduce my partner, Dr. Watson. Sherlock, does that mean you're batting for the other side? I think she's referring to the cricket bag. You're very observant, Ellie, as you know that cricket's a man's game. I suggest you both come inside and explain more. After you, Watson. Oh. Ellie, have you been seeing a man called Matthew Green? Sherlock, I'm now called Ellie Stones. My husband died a few years ago, and Matthew has recently befriended me. The girl gets lonely, you know, sometimes. And passions run wild. Love is a strange illness. There's no known cure. Uh, Ellie? Yes, Sherlock? You're in... You're in mortal danger. Into the closet. But I thought you two just come out. For